Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you so much for uh, holding this most important uh, hearing. And I also like to welcome the, uh, the panel. And for those of you that have served in the military or are currently serving in the military, uh, thank you for your service to this great nation of ours. Much appreciated. Mr. Bedoric, you're a former Executive Vice President of Xerox, is that correct? Uh, senior, vice, senior Vice President, yes. And you also uh, have executive experience at, I believe, uh, Verizon and MCI? Yes. First of all, I'd like to say I'm glad you're here. I think I'm a private sector person myself, and I think we need more private sector experience in the federal government, not less. That being said, I'd like to ask you a, a few questions. Did uh, Xerox and did Verizon, did MCI take care of their customers? Yes, they did. I'd like to ask you, who is the customer of the GSA? The customer is the Army families. Could you say that once again? <clears throat> the Army families are, are the customer. Do you think most people in the GSA understand that? Do they understand who the customer is in this situation? I, I believe so, but I, I don't absolutely know. Mr. Medoric, what would happen if Xerox or Verizon in the private sector did not take care of their customers? What would happen? What would happen to the company and what would happen to the executives? First, they would take action quickly to remedy the problem. And what would happen uh, uh, if they didn't? If what if they didn't take action quickly to take care of the customers? What would happen? What would happen to Xerox? It, it, Xerox? Yeah, would, you're, you're former senior vice president there, correct? Yes. You had a division that was not taking care of their customers. What would you do? Yeah, there would be focus. It would get fixed, whether it was resources or the company needed to lose money. Uh, they will get things in place to, to make the situation right. And what would happen to the management? the management? Would they keep their jobs? Would they get bonuses? Would they be terminated? What would happen? If it was not working, they would certainly not get bonuses. Uh, they would be required to fix the problem as soon as they could. They could lose their job. As a private sector person, Mr. Bedoric, what I'm concerned about in the federal government is there's no penalty for failure in Washington, D.C. No penalty for failure. In your private sector, Guy, there is penalty for failure. Would you agree in the private sector? There is penalty for failure. In the private sector, you can move much faster than in the government. Why is that? Uh, in the private sector, if you need to have additional contractors in a call center, you can do that in a week. Um, in the public sector, you have to go obtain the additional funding, sign a contract, uh, obtain a vendor contract. They have to procure people. They have to go through security clearance. The ability to move and make changes in the government, uh, for me, just coming out of the private sectors, has taken longer than, than uh, I'm used to. In, in your opinion, Mr. Bedoric, would uh, the federal government be more effective and more responsive to our clients if we implemented some of these private sector practices? Just your opinion. Yes. You were, it says in your testimony you were made aware of a problem, this problem, on January 7th of 2015. Yes. What happened since then? And tell me how you used your private sector experience yeah. to make sure this problem got quickly resolved, as you just said it would be at Xerox. Okay. So first of all, the problem is, is not resolved. The backlog is unacceptable. I apologize for that. GSA apologizes for that. I can tell you what, what, what I did and uh, uh, some of the struggles that, that we in, encountered. Um, we received, I received a, a letter from uh, a family on January 7th uh, expressing concern about the operation and their application. Uh, I um, asked for some background information on it. On the 19th of January, I flew to Kansas City to look at the operation. Uh, on that day, I put additional focus and management on the project. Two weeks later, uh, I changed the oversight of the organization, uh, and we went to Army for additional funding. Okay, we're eight months later, correct? Problem's not taken care of. If this was Xerox, if this was Verizon, would this problem have been taken care of by now? I believe so. Okay, things need to change. Would you agree? Yes. I just, I just want your honest opinion, your honest opinion on this next question. Give me your observations as a private sector executive on the culture of the GSA. Is it a customer-driven organization? Yes, it is. All evidence to the contrary in this situation. Would you agree? In this situation, uh, following the government requirements to, to uh, obtain the funding, um, 
to get the contract with the vendor, to procure f individuals, to go through the clearance process, all took longer than, than I would have ever expected and have ever experienced before. And my time has expired. I'd just like to end by saying I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you have private sector experience. And please work hard to change this to a more customer-driven government. Thank you very much. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.